what are the vibes in love at this time so what's going on in love what's going on with this person that you're connecting with this person that you're thinking about let's see what messages we have of course check out the description box below if you're interested in a personal reading with me where we will look into your person's energy we will look into your person's intentions okay we'll see what spirit has to say for you but this is a general reading all right what's the vibes tell me what's going on with this connection that my viewers are thinking about it's a very soul level connection this scares someone automatically i felt that it scares someone um not only does it scare someone i feel like it brings in this energy of depth it, it's like one of those things where they know that they could build something so extraordinary with you that at the same time there's fear right it's it's fear it's a fear of failing it's a fear of um making a mistake there's all of that wrapped into one but at the bottom of the deck we still have be mine so this person it's like there's something that grew between you two very quickly all right um and I feel like this person is still trying to understand this connection, still trying to understand you more so. Um, this person could have told you like, hey, you know, I'm afraid of possibly getting hurt again or their actions have screamed that to some degree. But I feel like this is someone here that just knows that this is a deeper connection and this is something different. It's a new chapter in their life and they don't know how to approach it. OK, let's see some more with this connection. It's not over. Yeah. So for a lot of you here, there could have been a date, there could have been some sort of, um, you know, energy of a conversation, or some sort of text message, there was something here where someone came in, but their energy was very light, they didn't seem as if they were expressing much. Okay, um, you knew the connection was there, you knew this person still has had love for you. But still, they're not really moving as fast as you would like them to, or as consistent as you would like them to. All right. We also have not over here. This person has a beautiful energy. This person you're connecting with. Um, and so do you. But I feel like this is someone here that thinks about the chemistry on a regular basis. They think about the chemistry that you two have. There's something about eye contact between you two. OK. And if you've never met this person or you haven't been in this person's presence, there's something about the overall aura of this energy between you two. OK. Now, we still have accidental love here. Um, ex-lover, someone's ex-love is, is peeking in or trying to peek in. Um, but either way, I feel like someone here was in the middle of trying to get over their past. It's like they've been through a lot, all right? And now they're finding themselves in this position, accidental love. Like, I'm actually falling for this person, or I could see myself falling for Cela Vitero's uh, subscribers. I could see it. I could feel it, okay? So this is someone here. For some of you, this is someone from your past. For some of you, this is a connection that is consistent, but you haven't seen this person really um, expressing their emotions. Spirit says there's more to come. Okay, to be continued here. Let's get some more messages on that. Let's see what we could expect here moving forward in this connection. I feel like with a lot of you here, this is it, it definitely calls for patience, but it doesn't call for waiting either, though. Um, I want a lot of you to understand the difference between should I wait for this person or should I um, live my life and, and do my own things and love the hell out of this gift that's called life and just enjoy myself. I, and I don't want a lot of you to wait in vain or wait in um, obsession or wait in this energy of stress, please don't do that okay um that actually affects the energy of a relationship big time when you sit in this energy of when how um you know when is this person going to reach out um it really sabotages the energy okay it really does so try your best not to um absorb that sort of vibration okay it's also composed of fear as well all right i'm not saying not to think about it i'm saying not to um <laughs> think about it in a very fearful manner is what i'm saying all right you know the vibes all right, tell me a little bit more about love coming in for my viewers. Tell me what they could expect moving forward. What could we expect here? Accept new love, I just heard. Accept new love. For a lot of you, you're meeting someone new here. There's a connection that's not over. Um, someone here wants to come in and build with you. Okay, we have second chances popping out over here. So we'll just put that there. Second chances. Okay, making amends here. Taking a leap towards love. All right, tell me more. 
yeah, a relationship coming in for a lot of you here. But I feel like, again, it's coming from a place of, in the past, things were a bit overwhelming, okay? Things were a bit stressful for me. Things were a bit, um, uh, how can I say it? It was just very intense for someone here. Um, I feel like someone here couldn't find answers in love. They didn't um, understand if they were uh, being possibly neglected or not a priority. There was an energy here in the past where someone here didn't make someone a priority. And they were really prioritizing other things, other people, other endeavors. And I feel like that's something that definitely shifted someone into this overwhelming energy where I'm very overwhelmed, Sylvie. I'm exhausted. I'm tired, okay? Um, tell me more about this past person or this person coming in here. What is their intention towards my viewers? All right, we have the Hierophant already. Some of you could be connecting with a Taurus, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. I got Aquarius too. Give me more, please. What is this person's intentions towards my viewers? All right, someone here is indecisive. Show me. This is someone here that's also waiting for you to say something to them as well here. They're waiting for you to say something else. This person feels like they've um, shown you um, enough in their mind. They feel like they showed you enough, but it's like they also want you to um, chase them or they want you to possibly show them um, that you're still interested in them, okay? However, they may want that. Um, but I do see someone here waiting to possibly get out of another situation mentally, spiritually, um, moving on from a past situation that possibly created a lot of stress in someone's energy. But I do see moving forward this is someone here that is going to offer you a number of um, a number of emotions here. Okay, I'm seeing this person trying to reach out. I'm seeing this person asking you here to meet up. I'm seeing this person here texting you memes or texting you certain things just to sort of loosen things up a little bit. I see this person here trying different strategies in order to bring this connection into a new place. Second chances. All right. So I do feel like for a lot of you here, when you just when you thought it was over, this was someone here that changed their mind or this person um, created this uh, stagnant energy by no longer reaching out. It's like, yeah, we were just fine the other day. And now all of a sudden we're not fine anymore for whatever reason. All right. Someone here, it's like they switched up the vibe a little bit. And after that vibe started changing, you started asking yourself, well, is it over? Does this person still have love for me? Is this person still interested? What's going on? Are we going to be able to work together as a team? Are we going to be able to make this happen here? So I do feel like at some point this was a, it was like a standoff. They were waiting. You were waiting. All right. Especially this person at some, it's like they were waiting for something specific here. For some of you, this person's waiting to end some sort of relationship or divorce or waiting for, I don't, I don't know why someone's waiting for like a promotion or someone here was very focused on finances and, and they feel like they couldn't approach you or they couldn't um, bring certain things to the table or, or there was some sort of hesitation here at some point. But for a majority of you here, this was someone here that was waiting also um, for you to possibly say something or for you to um, tell them that you miss them. I feel like this person's looking for attention, I think, okay, is what I'm getting, okay? Um, there's a lot of attention vibes happening. I also see someone here waiting to see if their ex would come back. Would my ex come back? So love you. would they? And then here, this person comes in. So a lot of you are getting a lot of offers, all right? There's a lot of offers coming in. Um, I feel like it's going to be up with a lot of love here. I'm seeing dates. I'm seeing conversations. I'm seeing a lot of emotions, a lot of emotions here, a lot of passion. It's very intense from what I'm feeling. Accidental love here. Okay, for some of you, it's an ex-lover. And for some of you, this is someone here that you're still, you know, connecting with here. Um, but for a lot of you, I see this coming in very quickly, all right? Especially in the month of September. Like, everyone's going to just be like, oh my God, what's going on? All right, whoever's resonating with this, I should say. Any other messages that my viewers need to know moving forward? What's the vibes here? Try not to push people away. Try not to push people away. I feel like someone here that may be watching is like a, a bit guarded a little bit, okay? Because I do see there's a strong energy of I'm very afraid of being hurt again. Whoever this is, whether it's you or your person, some of you could be watching is like, oh, so love you. that's definitely not me. That's that's my past person. But someone here needs to allow joy to enter their heart chakra, their their uh, chakras, period. Um, and it's like, I feel like someone here has been pushing a lot of people away. And if they may not be doing it intentionally, but they're doing it with their with their um, 
attitude or their uh, responses or the way that they may come off with their energy, I should say. But I do see someone here unconsciously um, pushing someone away here because of sadness. Like I'm afraid, you know, I'm afraid of letting someone in. Um, Spirit is saying we have so much coming your way amazing energy coming your way people that would love to take you out people that would love to speak with you laugh with you connect with you look at all these cups in the air like let's celebrate the fact that we're um alive healthy and happy let's do it um so be mindful if this is you and you're shutting out new love and i mean love right and when i talk about love i talk about it as an energy um don't shut it out all right. Um, every, you know, process or every situation we've gone through, it makes us a better person. It makes us wiser. It makes us understand self-love deeper. OK, so that's the advice. Be very mindful of how you are living. OK, you don't want to be in that guarded vibration. Um, and it doesn't only have to be towards, you know, romance. It could just be happiness. OK, that's why I was saying in the beginning, someone here at some point was sort of, um, being a bit guarded or um, not allowing this soul level connection to grow, you know, and we all go through it. So I get it. I get it. Okay. Let's see what messages this person has for you at this time. What are the messages? What are the vibes? Someone here is also waiting for someone to respond to a text message with some sort of energy or some sort of emotion, like say something that makes sense, please. Say something. All right. What are the messages, please? Thank you. I'm sorry for all of the pain that I've caused. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm making... What is that? It says, I'm scared of this intense love that fell. All right. What do we have? I want to explain myself to you. Again, we have conversations coming in, text messages coming in. All right. Someone here wants to talk to you. Someone here wants to uh, let's let's start this over. Let's have a second chance. Let's uh, make amends here. Let's plan something. Let's plan a dinner. OK, I'll talk to you soon. Have an amazing one. Of course, I love you.